Hello and welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. If you have not subscribed, please take this time and subscribe. We'd love to have you join our YouTube family and hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. On Monday, my daughter texted and said that a former co-worker had texted her and sent her a screenshot of a picture of a tray, a farmhouse tray with a buffalo check. And she asked if maybe she thought I could make it. And I told my daughter, I think I can. And I did. And here is the DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And I had made her co-worker some things for Christmas last year. So I was glad that she is returning for some more of my DIYs. So now let's get started with this DIY. For this DIY, I have the thankful decor from Dollar Tree with the black and white buffalo check. I did get this from Hobby Lobby from the Woodpile Collection. It's eight piece cube wood blocks. And I also got the dowel caps, the wood dowel caps. And only three came in a pack to purchase two of those because I will be needing four. From Walmart, I got the white fast dry spray paint in white. All of the wood pieces are now painted white and dry and I'm going to be using the E6000 to put the block piece on top of the little round piece. I have my thankful decor, and I need a place to glue my feet to that will be sturdy. So I have took some big popsicle sticks that I have bought from Walmart last year, and I am e 6000 them into the corner here. So I'm putting them on the corner and then I'm putting one in front of that. And I'm gonna let those dry in order to be able to put my leg on the decor piece. So now I have four of the decor pieces from Dollar Tree, all E6000 together. And then I took my little clips to clip them on to get it um, where it would stay stable and glued together. Now I have my feet on my tray and I have E6000 each one together. And I put these little metal clips to hold them so it will stay nice and sturdy. And I'm gonna flip it over and this is what I'm left with. I think this is turning out so adorable. Now I'm going to paint the top of this white. Now I'm just going to pour on some white gloss acrylic paint. I usually like to use the chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint, and I buy that at Walmart, but this is what I had on hand. And now I'm just going to paint over the top of this to be careful that I don't get it on my buffalo check. I hope you all enjoyed this DIY. I think this tray came out absolutely gorgeous. And this can be used not only for the fall season or Christmas, but all year long. This is one that you can just use and never have to put away. And this DIY is a Dollar Tree Woodhouse DIY. And I use a Dollar Tree pumpkin ornament that's out now for fall. And I think this is so beautiful. I do have a video that I have done some wood houses on prior. If you would like to know how I put this together, that video is in our playlist and you can go and watch. I wanna take this time to thank everyone that watched that video. That is the most watched video on our channel. I think I have three or 4,000 views and I just wanna say thank you all very much. For the background in the wood house, I picked up a sheet at Hobby Lobby they are on sale right now. They're four for a dollar. The price is 69 cents. I do buy makeup sponges at Dollar Tree and I use them for DIYs. And for this DIY, I wanted my pumpkin to stick out if you can kind of tell how it sticks out a little. And so I just put one of my makeup sponges, I hot glued it on so it would stand up. And then I just took the black and white buffalo check that I used at my last Dollar Tree 
farmhouse DIYs and just use it to make a little bow. I think these two Dollar Tree DIYs turned out very beautiful. I think I will be making these DIYs for my own self. They're so cute. I hope you all enjoyed these Dollar Tree DIYs. I would never think that these came from the Dollar Tree. They're absolutely beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, everyone, bye and have a great day.